Bottle DSP. Item number, SCP-121. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-121 should always be kept within a lead-treated multi-polymer vial, which should itself be placed inside an industrial size autoclave. Great care should be taken to ensure the autoclave's integrity using multiple redundant power sources. See USPGC, lower level. Personnel requesting a sample from SCP-121 should first be extensively vetted. If they pass muster, Preparing a sample will require delaying the autoclave by two seconds, removing less than a milliliter of the liquid, and then running a second autoclave for two days to ensure the sample's integrity. All personnel should observe full NBC precautions and report any and all sudden revelations. Should a subject demonstrate sudden acumen regarding finance and, in particular, predictions towards commodities and stocks, he or she should be immediately detained. Description SCP-121 is 120 milliliters of a positron-heavy superconducting liquid, gray to silver in color. The substance replicates through unknown means when partially depleted, filling its storage container within seconds. When ingested in combination with a cocktail of paracetam, modafinil, and beta blockers, it allows a short period of vivid precognition. First lifted from the Mandean Temple of blank in 1957, it has proven to be at once incredibly volatile and useful. Subjects ingesting more than three milliliters of the liquid immediately display signs of intense and violent psychosis, developing into self-mutilation and culminating ultimately in suicide. Errata for results from test subjects Alpha through Chi, see files 121 Alpha to 121 Chi. Addendum No people under the effects of SCP 121 should be exposed to SCP 013, as this causes said exposed person to begin screaming and die of massive hemorrhage within 30 seconds of exposure to SCP 013.